God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, and we'll read verse number 12. And it says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Amen. Uh, at this Christmas season, um, there are many people uh, who are demonstrating themselves to be givers. Amen. Um, born again believers who are so generous with their time, with their resources, and with themselves. And they truly are blessings unto others because of their generosity, because of their willingness to give. And yet, one of the things that we observe as we um, live this life is that many times uh, givers, those who uh, have the ability to just give of themselves uh, in, in various forms, that givers often have a hard time being receivers. Amen. And it's, it's important to give, but it's also important to know how to receive. Amen. Uh, the Bible says uh, that it is more blessed to give than to receive. But that statement doesn't mean that receiving has no value. If you, if you really look at the statement, it's letting us know that receiving is a blessing as well. It's just more of a blessing to give. But many times we say it's more blessed to give than to receive as if we're eliminate, eliminating the importance of receiving. But receiving is important, amen, because it is yet a blessing. It's not as great as a blessing as giving, but it is a blessing. Just as Samuel said unto Saul, it's, uh, obedience is greater than sacrifice. doesn't mean sacrifice is meaningless, amen, just that obedience is greater. And so receiving is a blessing as well, and we have to learn how to receive. So it is my prayer on this Christmas, amen, that those of you who are givers will also learn the blessing of receiving. Amen. We have to learn how to receive. Receive the gifts that your loved ones give unto you. Receive uh, uh, the love that they extend toward you. Be a good receiver. Amen. Uh, you are already a good giver. Now be a good receiver. And most important of all, for any of you who may be listening on this day, if you have not received the greatest gift of all, which is Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, God's only begotten Son, it is truly my prayer that you will receive Jesus this Christmas. Because the scripture text says it, says it well. As many as received him, to them gave he power to be the sons of God the sons and the daughters of God, to as many as believed on his name. But that can only come when you receive Jesus as Lord, when you receive him as Savior, when you receive him as he is. It is my prayer that on this Christmas, you will become a receiver of Christ if you haven't already. Amen. And even if you have, I hear the Spirit even saying now, and even if you've already received Christ and you are born again, yet receive the blessings of God that he's trying to place into your life. Learn to be a receiver, amen, because it is more blessed to give, yes, but it is still a blessing to receive. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged. Merry Christmas to everyone. Amen. And remember, Jesus loves you, and his love never fails. When we say Merry Christmas.